How are you doing? Uh, how am I? I'm angry, Catherine. I lost my firstborn son, and Alistair killed him. I know that bastard caused that plane to explode. For Antonio to die in such a horrible way. I wish to God this was Alistair's fate. I'm just so sorry. I feel sick about Antonio. Yeah, well, I'm sick. I'm sick of Alistair's threats, his gangster tactics. Trying to kill us, threatening Paloma, murdering Antonio. I mean, where the hell does it all end? I'm going to make him pay back. He's going to pay for everything that he's done to us, my family, and my daughter. He is a monster. He's brought so much pain and agony to everyone in harmony, even his own daughter. My sweet Sheridan. I don't understand how a man could be so evil that he would try to destroy the life of his own daughter. I remember the night you got that scar. That night changed your lives forever. I know. That scar left a physical mark on you. But that night left an emotional scar on your little daughter, Sheridan. Images of that night are burned in my memory <sighs> forever. What I went through, what you went through. Sheridan, oh God, my poor little girl, what she went through. <sighs> right by your side, angels are watching. Child of mine, mama sleep right by your side. Angels are watching you, thinking you say everything is fine. That's beautiful. What do you say? I used to sing that shout and put it asleep. She saw so much that night. No child should have to go through what that child has been through. I'd give anything, anything to have these memories just burn from my mind. What's happened to you? What's happened to me? What's happened to Sheridan? It's horrible. It's just so horrible. Strange, isn't it? It's so strange seeing how we look at faces before the surgeries. They look so different now. Everything is different then. Alice forced us to do what we did that night. Neither one of us had a choice in what we did. We had no choice. No, Alistair! Damn it, Catherine. You can't run away from me. You're my wife. You leave me alone. You go find one of your other women. I don't want another woman. I want you. And I demand you act like a wife. Don't you touch me. You're a monster. <laughs> How can you call me a monster? You love me, Catherine, and you know I love you. You don't love me. You don't love anyone. You have no soul. Shut up. <laughs> I told you to leave me alone! You bitch! How dare you! <laughs> 
gonna pay for that, Catherine. I thought Alistair would kill me that night. Alistair, don't. You should have thought of that before you refused me. I'll teach you to respect me. If you're alone, Mr. Crane, go again, you bastard. You interfered in my private life for the last time. You're fired! I want you off this estate immediately. Not until I know Mrs. Crane is safe. Oh. Are you all right? I'm fine, but I want you to go before he hurts you. Get the hell out! Not until I know Mrs. Crane has someone to protect her. You better worry about your own safety, Martin. I'm gonna get rid of you once and for all. Alistair wanted you dead, Mom. Yes, he did. He almost got what he wanted that night. Alistair, leave him alone. Let him go. Let him go. Stay out of this, Catherine. No! Mrs. Crane! <laughs> Mrs. Crane. <laughs> Mrs. Crane. How are you? Yes. Are you all right? I'm all right. Oh, please, please, I want you to go before Alistair comes oh, after you again. Easy. Come with me and I'll get you someplace safe. Okay. Come here. Slowly. Oh, slowly. Thank you. Go. you. There you go. All right. Please, come on. Let's go. Thank you, Mark. Oh, 